How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lie Hobby Time. A couple weeks ago I started on a town for my wild western world. This week I'm building a building number two. It'll fit right alongside this one. I started with the same base dimensions as the saloon. All of the buildings in this project will have the same base height so that in the end I can put them all together and create a nice organized town. I sketched out a loose floor plan onto the foam itself. I didn't follow it too exactly, but it did help establish a mental picture for what this building was going to look like. I then cut out four wall sections, one for the front and one for the back, and then two for the sides. And then I cut up some strips of balsa wood to act as some panels. In order to make these panels look a little bit better and add some detail, I split them in a few different lengths. Then I carved some little pieces out of them and chipped them up with the X-Acto knife as well as a steel brush. In order to help the glue adhere a little bit better to the foam, I also scratched it up before applying some wood glue and spread that out with my finger and I laminated the wood to the foam. Then made a few more of those. And on the front one, I used my little scale reference here to trace out a door and some windows. Then I cut those out with the Dremel. I then added some little details like some window sills and a door frame. And I wanted some bars to go across the windows, so I used some plastic cross stitching mesh for this. I have some bigger stuff that I'll be using to build a cage later on. Added some details to the door, a few more trim pieces, and on one of the side walls I cut a hole. Uh, this door leads into the cage. Then I glued those four wall pieces down to the ground and that was the main structure of the building done. And just like on the saloon, I cut up some little pieces of wood to make a boardwalk. I split each of these pieces in half to make them a little bit closer to the right scale. I used some larger pieces of trim to hide all the seams where the walls came together. And after I'd glued those on, I moved on to building the cage. I watched a video recently from Black Magic Craft where he makes a cage out of this same material and he talks about how difficult it is to stick together. I found this to be true as well, it's very difficult to stick together. But what helped me was building these little wooden corners. The plastic sticks a lot better to the wood than it does to the other plastic. So I used a very thin super glue and this accelerator and it worked pretty well. I found this chain at the store, has these little cuffs on the end, and thought it looked like it would be perfect for chaining up a big monster. I didn't glue this down so I can retroactively add a monster to the cage later on. If you have any suggestions for what monster I should put in here, let me know. Then made a little winch, I glued the top on, then I glued a roof onto the building. I then added the last little bit of trim and it was time to move on to the fun part. I started adding little pieces here and there, making them look like they had some kind of a purpose and that they were supposed to be there. Well, I guess none of this stuff is supposed to be on a cowboy era building, but you know what I mean. I haven't established the rules fully for this universe, but I do know that they have access to and the ability to use electricity and radios. And there are monsters. 
Speaking of monsters, I wanted to have a little platform that the sheriff or a guard could stand on and monitor the monster from. So I made a little platform out of some more balsa wood and a little metal mesh. Cut out some posts and a ladder. Glued those to the bottom to give it some elevation. Then I glued the whole thing to the roof made some little railings out of brass rods. I also added a little trapdoor to give people access to the roof and I added a few more little things here and there to add some visual interest including some guitar string. Then covered all of the foam on the base with some Mod Podge to protect it from the primer and when that was dry I primed it. I used a gray and white primer to give it a zenithal highlight and then I went over pretty much everything with different layers of washes. The basic idea of this building is that it is a sheriff's office with normal size jail cells in the building on the right. And then the big one on the left is a cage for unruly monsters. We've only seen one monster in this world so far, the big bison, but there are definitely a lot more monsters out there. I then added some orange paint to mimic some rust on a lot of the metal areas, then I painted a base coat of a tannish brown on the ground, and then I went over that with a watered down glue, and then I sprinkled on some sand. I did also go back and add some sand to the saloon base so that they would match, and I scraped away the sand in front of the door where monsters had been reluctantly dragged into the cage. Then painted Sheriff above the door, and I used some weathering and dusting to blend that in. And then I painted my Sheriff. After the sheriff was painted, I glued him in place, and I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you to all of my patrons. I appreciate you all very much. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you next time.